Mana mana. This is theme song. We're live. Rat baggers. Yeah. More than I said, beloved countrymen, the leisure and time, the leisure and enforcement of the time forbids to dwell upon. Yet remember this: God and our good cause fight upon our side. Are we all just monologuing? Oh, yeah, I, I need a monologue. Wait, you, you, you started and then I had to... I, I did because, okay, so for the audience at home, since you missed our original mic test, whenever I do a mic check on film, radio, whatever it is, I memorized the Andrew Ryan, a uh, man chooses a Slabo vase speech from the original Bioshock game. So now that's just what I use. There is, Always. There are a few things better than getting to beat uh, an alternate universe Ayn Rand to death with her <laughs> own golf club. I'm going to memorize some, uh, some Jack Ryan speeches. Somebody nice. come up with an incredibly ridiculous slash stupid video game monologue for me. How I ridiculous did... do you want to go? Oh, the more ridiculous the better. Oh my god, Molly, pull, then it'll be a test. pull something a from case. Psychonauts. Trust oh, me on that this. That game is so good. It's incredible. Well, the quote that I will always stay it, with but me. I keep hearing good things. It's okay. So basically, psychic summer camp boy has the ability to go into the doors in people's minds. And there is a great quote wherein Raz says to the leading lady, Lily, um, there's no one who can stop them except for you and me. And her response is, oh my God, let's make out. <laughs> hey, it's production, do hysterical. we have a viewer? Nope. Yeah, damn it. All right. I, I told Johnny to sign on. He didn't have to actually listen to us, but he could be just be <laughs> just, there. Just had to add to the numbers. Yeah, he could be there um, in spiritual support. <laughs> all right, I posted on our Facebook Emotional page. Emotional support. I can't repost it currently if you all want to help out. I'll get it to Twitter. Please. I already know uh -oh. at Twitter. least Twitter. two people who are just like Nice. I know who that is. Nice. Hey. hey, good name. Good call. I missed it. Millhouse69? Midna House 69. Midna is in the character from the Twilight Princess. Oh, yeah. I, I, was, I like Mill House yeah. 69. It and makes then me have feelings. That, the house, as you know, Midna is welcome in their it home and 69 is a sexual display. reference. That I know. Uh, but now I want to be Mill House 69 gotcha. on Twitter.com. <laughs> now everything's coming on Mill House. It's all coming very on Mill House. Different. No. Emphasis on the coming. Why? Phrasing. Ah. Phrasing. Phrasing. No, that was deliberate. <laughs> Why? Why? Because well, Liz, I think, is the answer. It's true. I'm sorry that I made an ejaculation joke already. I am not seeing this early You're in the evening. You're not sorry. I'm okay. not. <laughs> not even a little. I'm not seeing our current. I've had to oh, type the word ejaculate more times. All right, that's good enough for me. Than I ever have in my entire life. It's like recently. Yeah, at work. Okay. Liz, I mean, that's so much tall. ejaculate. The what? Stop being tall. I'm sorry. I can't. It was like Shit. the week where I had to talk about aliquoting monkey semen and not laugh during those conference calls, except this time, I'm just I'm constantly saying ejaculate. I'm gonna... Ejaculate, you're a, yours are a partner's, does it matter? I don't know. And on that note, it's the Ratbaggers, season one, episode four. I'm Cameron McNary, sexy halfling grandpa. <laughs> That's where we're starting the night. You know, I love how you had this talk with us before we started about like, hey guys, maybe we don't need to be punchy straight off you the bat. You were a little punchy, punchy last is, week. The punchy is fine. Just let's not be punchy all over each other. Let's we be. You make sure you're turns while being punchy. Make sure you're in the clear when you're punchy. That's what make, my note was. Uh, make sure that when Cameron is punchy, the spotlight is on Cameron. Should we have a stick? <laughs> you know like what? That's actually stick? more my note. I know. <laughs> Here, I know you. This this is the punchy sharpie. <laughs> And you hold it and pass it along when you're ready, when it's when you're finished being punchy so the next person knows. Okay, Molly, Molly, footnote, footnote. You are not allowed to punch someone to take it from them. So it's not like punch buggy. No, it's not punch sharpie. I'm Cameron McNary, halfling McNary! sexy grandpa. I'm Molly McClanahan, the exact opposite of a sexy halfling grandpa. <laughs> I'm Liz Brink. And I am playing <laughs> Missy Stoneanchor, and she's a, a surly recent convert. So maybe like four fifths sexy I, half I mean, grandpa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I'm playing Jovi, the half elf, who is decently sexy when she feels like it. And then Dari, who we're not going to talk about that. No. He's just adorable because he's a doggo. He's a good dog. He's the best dog. He's a good dog. And I'm Ryan Seguin. I'm a 
DM for this, I guess, which is like half everybody, half world simulation. But all sexy. I mean, if that's what the role requires, I will wadnay it up as needed. <laughs> um, <laughs> if, if we measure sexiness and charisma, I'm, I'm clocking it in at a nine. So I mean, it's crushing it. it. I'm real Chari- sexy. Charisma and over the editions has translated from like physical appearance and suaveness, mm-hmm. uh, or suave, I guess, is just the word by itself. Um, to I prefer suaveness <laughs> to self confidence. It's essentially Suavity. it's essentially will to power. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> I I played a paladin once who had a charisma of like twenty two. Yeah, and like played her in such a way that like I had no interpersonal skills whatsoever, and so she was just extremely good looking, and was just a right bitch all the time. <laughs> I'm See, I just, really, I just think you should be a really effective, bitch. You just walk in and steamroll just, everyone in the room, I mean, and they have to do what you say. I mean, yeah, that's that's how I live my life. <laughs> <sighs> Fuck. Um, so wither, we left, last we left our adventurers. We wither the ends. rat baggers, Ryan. Yeah. Wither the rat baggers. Yeah, so uh, y'all were sailing down river. Mm-hmm. Um, were we sailing away? No, uh, we, were more, we were more kind of rolling on a river. Okay. Yeah, you had you were not you had not set an open course for a sea of any kind. Not an endless sea. No. Okay. Or or a virgin sea, as it were. That sounds like urgent, like almost emergency. Go ahead and check it and see. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I made a foreigner joke, everybody. I don't think you have to apologize. Oh. But not not to me anyway. Yes, I, you okay. Do. No, no. I don't, Liz, are you and I... The, is, any, is anyone here else raised in the middle of nowhere with rednecks? Yeah, mm-hmm. I was born in Nebraska, raised in the middle of Missouri. All Do you right. know where Knob nice. Noster is? No. Thought so. <laughs> <laughs> no. What? Wait, mine? What? Mine or someone else's? Uh, Knob Noster? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Because I know where mine That's is. That's like a pattern Noster, but horrible. <laughs> So I think we were headed to find to find something for Lady We Lava. were headed. <laughs> God damn it, guys. This, this is where we are tonight, folks. This is, just, this is where we're starting from. Millhouse 69, everybody. Yeah. This is who we are tonight. Millhouse Welcome aboard. 69. All right. Listen. You have left Wantham. Yes. Wantham. Wantham. What are the suburbs of Wantham known as? Uh, I, don't, I, I did not invent suburbs. Wamphthomia. Uh, North Bethesda. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we live in the Rockville of Wampum. <laughs> okay, so um, we killed those things. You are on the road. I I know that I mentioned this once. Everyone gave me like cross-eyed looks, like that is the most fantasy name ever, uh, and then promptly forgot it, which I expected. Uh, you're on the way to Hadarai Yaldrin's home. Um, the elf. His name is a killing word. <laughs> the the guy that tortured the shit out of all of his serfs in the surrounding area, drove them all to death, and turned his house into a death trap while he collected the remains of falling civilizations that were ransacked during the war. He was a capital douche, uh, and an elf that died of old age, taken by dementia, um, and warped his home into a twisted cavalcade of horrors. Uh, so kind of a elven King Leopold. Sure. Aww. What, you, what you're gonna give Leopold an awe? I'm just imagining. Do you know what he did? Do you know what he did in yes, the Congo? But I'm just imagining him with pointy ears. <laughs> Doesn't make it better. No, no. I mean, yeah. He, just, he was awful. He was awful. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. I'm just thinking now. Pointy eared despots needs to be a hashtag, and so, I don't know for what. I saw pointy eared despots open for Baltimore Rich Face in '78. How, How were they? they? Sharp. Ooh. Ooh. All right, all right. But also terrible. <laughs> you couldn't help feeling that they so. kind of deserve to be where they are. Yeah, all right, all right. Uh, Hadara Yeldrin? Hadara Yeldrin. I got it! Okay, so we're headed to Hadara Yeldrin's torture castle thing. Well, it luckily is not a castle. Um, okay. The guy had <laughs> a... Torture bungalow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of a ranch. <laughs> the torture uh, rambler? Um, it's a, it's a house. It is a full sized home. Um, but it is not a mansion. It's, it's barely even a manor. It's more like a, 
standard suburban single family home <laughs> in an era where that sort of thing only exists for people that have tons of money. His HOA must be so mad. <laughs> he killed everyone so they didn't have to deal with an HOA. <laughs> That okay, I, that's understandable. Right. That's just I, like fair. I got I nothing like against him now. <laughs> you know, we're just you know what you you seem cool, dude. We're just gonna leave you to your business. Um, okay, so yeah, um, uh, the the Yaldrin Manor is easy to find. Uh, as you uh, sail up to this house, uh, it there it had its own private pier. Um, uh, but the house's left side has sunk into the wetlands uh, on the edge of the river. Um, so it's sort of tilted at an angle. There's your problem. Uh, <laughs> uh, and you all, but you all can, can, can dock at the pier uh, and, and pull up and, and come up to the house. <laughs> it's, it, it, the house, even though it is, abo- it is above water, is covered in barnacles uh, and... Um, extremely wa- uh, weather-worn, waterlogged uh, to the point to where its its original color is undiscernible. Um, it just looks brown and... Like, like how far up on the house do these barnacles go? All the way up to the top. So these are these are landicles? Kind of, yeah. Okay, my Housicles. question... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically. So, so, obviously, it must have been submerged in water or something like that pretty recently if it's that water worn. If anyone has the, uh, if anyone would like to roll a nature check or a raw intelligence check, I would love to uh, yes. make a nature check. I will do that with the ring because that's the thing that works for me. That is going to be, I rolled an 11 plus four, so I got a 15. Uh, difficulty is, is 15. Uh, I got eight. Yeah, I can't beat it. Um, that's a 13. I got a nine. I'm furrowing my brow. <laughs> Uh, all of us just sort of for our brows and cock our heads to the side. Just hmm? Gail, yeah, you have spent enough time on the sea. To, I sure have to recognize when Sahuagans are trying to terraform a place. Um, they purposefully barnacle up any uh, above ground residents they're in. On per, uh, uh, it's it's a side effect of them trying to drag the house into the sea. I'm just saying. This crew of swagging, like going around the house with little baskets. Yeah, just, <laughs> like, it's on like ladders be, and shit. They're like bedazzling the house, but with, with barnacles. Context What is a swagging? I don't. I, well, I feel you so see. nice. Okay. Actually, there are these little things in sewers that uh, guide you through, and eventually they will make a commemorative coin. What? That was my definition of swagging during our first. Wait, wait, don't smell me. Yeah, they're not that. Oh. They're, you, know, you remember He-Man? No, you wouldn't remember He-Man. <laughs> no. You, you, uh, I appreciate the callback. But, but, uh, Good work. You got to go more young, uh, modern. I'm a youngin. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't know the, the, the creature from the Black Lagoon, would you? Uh, not super familiar. I apologize. They're fish guys. Okay. They're, they're mean, they're, they're, they're mean flesh-eating fish guys. Fish dudes. And they want everything to be underwater. Okay, great. Because I mean, there's really only so many monsters in Dungeons and Dragons. There's there's fish monsters, dragon monsters, fire monsters. There are, however, like six different kinds of fish monsters. There's so many kinds, and that's so why it's a in, higher category. There's the Lokatha, <laughs> which are fish guys, but lawful neutral. Mm-hmm. What are are Yanti? Are they watery or no? No, they're they're snaky. They're snaky. snaky. They're snaky. So not like anaconda snaky. They're like boa snaky. Depends. Okay. There so are many you, different. You can have. Aquatic, you want to see. Yeah, they're, they like in World of Warcraft, I think that they're in the water. They're weird, yaunty looking snake people. You mean the, the Naga? Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. Anyway, carry on. So is, does it look like the house is rotting? I know you said that it's in pretty bad disrepair, but is there a way for us to easily enter? It looks like you could get through the front door. Or you could try swimming up into the first floor from the water if you wanted. Um, but it's an underwater level. Uh, but oh, you're starting us in the fucking water temple. Not no really? no. I promise you, you will not have to stand at different parts oh, of the house and stand on switches good, to change the water level. Christ. God damn it! I don't have my uh, where's like, the level mo- level gajillion. The- I become like. I can super duper swim underwater forever, and all of my friends get it too. Most of the house but is above yet. water. However, 
you can tell that the first floor would at least give uh, make your boots soggy uh, as you walk through it. Um, <laughs> I love that we live in the future. How do I make this MIDI file of Mario underwater music play? I know. <laughs> this is what I need to know right now. So, Gail. Do, 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 do. Gail, this kind of seems like an underwater death trap if we were to swim around. I Do you want to just try the front? <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Liz. You're welcome. This is the point in the episode yeah. where you really start to feel for Jessica yeah. and her her psychological damage. Yeah, you have and, to and the cycle of abuse. You, you have to watch out. Nintendo flags anything that has their stuff on it. They like they'll get channels <sighs> muted and shut down. And come for me, Nintendo. Uh, yeah. I will never log off. They're uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's terrible. All right, we're doing this. I think yep. we could, uh, um, we may as well just go in through the front door there. Yeah, going I, around the side, I, I feel like there's going to be something waiting for us there, yeah, and we're going to get a better lay of the land if we go yeah, in. Yeah, if we need to walking, go downstairs, yeah. we can go downstairs, but we may as well go in through the front door. Mm-hmm. And, and I also feel like there hasn't been, like, they all see us. If anybody's in it, like, right. we've pulled up to their pier in our boat. We, are we already have not unsettled. come under fall of darkness or yeah. something like that. Luckily, there are no Sahuagan sentries uh, alerted to your arrival from from what you can tell. Um, oh, my God. I forgot or as I wrote, far as we know. I wrote box text for these rooms. Is it sexy box text? I mean, you tell me. Should what's, I read it? This, what's, what's its charisma? Uh, you know what? I think that's interpretive. <laughs> I, think, I think you all get to tell me how you feel. So Charisma is in the eye of the beholder, not the actual beholder. The, 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 uh, the coat room. As it were, the before you come into the the anteroom, uh, yeah, Boy. the vestibule. The, it's a vestibule for sure. It's it's the mud room. It's a it's yeah, my people. yeah, yeah. The, the mud as we go through the valve, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the the mud room uh, is is completely open. Um, the door was smashed open long ago. It's just sort of a a hole. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it, but I do know how to describe it because I wrote box text. This entryway is submerged to your shoe soles in water. The cobblestone floors have begun to give way to the wetlands beneath. Before you is a door, heavily barnacled, except for the handle, that le- that leans crookedly down into the water, but is firmly shut. I tried the door handle. It turns. <laughs> Can I open it? You uh, push the door, uh, or you pull the door towards you, Gravity takes way and it just sort of falls to the left. I solve your door puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> Give us experience points now. I, I don't, I'm going to have to say that wasn't a puzzle. It's a door. But you said it was it was shut and there were barnacles on it. Clearly, clearly the first challenge, guys. Yes. Just saying. I think we can know. say we, we, we won, really. I, I really do point. think so. <laughs> Moral victory, if nothing else. Before you is a sunken foyer. Pillars and broken finery litter the entryway, and the river has risen to meet the western passage of this room, which is the left side of the room. Mm -hmm. Um, Before you is, uh, straight across the hallway from you, is another door, um, and then just to its right is uh, a second door. Um, And then the the wall sort of uh, is, is, to your left is just water, just straight down into the house uh, and, and it's just open to the elements on the outside uh, and to your right, the, the wall is sort of uh, caved in, not caved in. It's a house is uh, smashed in. So it forms like a, an angle rather than being a proper right angle. It's wall. a partially collapsed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what, what was the name of the piece of jewelry we were looking for? Um, I remember she said it had a uh, diamond and, and Ruby Um Anyone, please help me out here. I believe it was called the Sacred Thwumpus. <laughs> That's correct. Hey, DM. Yeah. So she mentioned that uh, she was looking for a curio, Curi- okay. um, the, a bejeweled curio of the Reese family. Okay. So a curio would probably be in some sort of bedroom something like, like a, that a study or yeah a, no. yeah like a study or a library or a personal bedroom if someone had uh more things that they looked at maybe where's, we where's try the, and see. where's the solarium i, think I mean truly yeah. the conservatory um do any of you enter the room yes all right give me a perception check mm. 
I'm going to assume that the rest of you are not in the room. That's a 14. Um, oh, this is fine. Actually, they just have... I mean, I don't know what. would. Uh, yes, you do not see the Sahuagin lying in wait in the water as it... Uh, Dude, spoilers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's almost as if a Sahuagin is, was in the house. They've laid a trap. The Sahuagin is coming from inside the house. Um, it, it had been submerged in mud, like Arnold Schwarzenegger in the Predator movie, just like just pops right up out. Yep. Oh, That's what they look like. Yeah. It's fish guy. Kill me. Yeah. Kill me now. Cool. And he goes, blah, blah, you get out of Bilgeback's house. <laughs> and he's holding a trident just sort and of makes you go back at him <laughs> okay roll for initiative you just making funny faces at it oh I'm crushing this six. Oh, that's uh, that's pen I can't erase pen oh shit nine give me one nice. second I can't I can't um that's gonna be a Stop. seven ah. that fucking twenty nice. <laughs> plus my deck so that would be a twenty three <laughs> Okay, well, the Sahuagin got a two. <laughs> Sorry, nice. He, I named oh, him excited. for no reason. His name is Bil- Bilgeback. Um, no. I thought he was just kind of like Bilgeback's, uh, um, you know, house guy. He's no, no. Just looking after the place for Bilgeback. <laughs> a plus sitting. on the character voice, though. I am super proud of you. Thank, I tried to not go Murloc. I tried so did, to... he, did he bedazzle the entire place himself? <laughs> yeah. He's, oh, he's so proud. Yeah. This is his house as far as he's concerned. Uh, Molly, would, or Rilquist, sorry. I should go around the table. Real, what's your initiative? Uh, what did I say? It's, uh, it's a nine. Nine, yes. Because I got a six. Gail? Nice. That's a seven. Jovi? It's not 20, so 23. 23. Okay, well, you're all still going bo- before Bilge back. Um, because Despite being prepared, he is. Uh, he'll, he'll get a surprise round on you, though, because okay. you didn't see him coming. Okay. Uh, uh, and as we learned last time, it means... Q, I come from the water by the toadies. I feel like that's the fight song that we've got right now. All right. Uh, let's see. Or make a sound. Ooh. PJ <laughs> Harvey is down by the water. Nice. Yeah. Little fish, big fish. And now I've just got Down by the River by Delta Ray <laughs> stuck in my head, which is an amazing, amazing Just water song. Rock lobster's too obvious, I think. Yeah. A, a little. <laughs> I, I love how they're limited. And they have limited amphibiousness. Sahuagans can breathe air and water, but they need to be submerged at least once every four hours to avoid suffocating. We'll just wait and let him dry out, guys. We're good. Just keep kiting him. We'll just run around. Yeah. Are you at full health, Molly? Yes. Okay. For some reason, they have they have advantage to hit creatures that are uh, not full on their hit points because they like they worship a shark. Yeah, they have blood frenzy. Their god is a shark. They yeah they can they can psychically speak with sharks. All right, uh, let's see. The Sahuagin makes two melee attacks, one with its bite and one with its spear. But you gotta, you got to admire a, a religion that pure, that it's just ours, our god is a giant animal. Is yeah. a particular, like, just, a, and just uh, Molly, a that, larger than average. That first attack is a natural Virgin. 20. Oh. Um, that will hit me, yes. Um, so that's going to be 2d6 plus one. Let me roll that. Oh, why would you do that? That is eight damage. Ouch. I'm unhappy about that. Second attack with its bite is uh, a total of 19. That also hits me. Uh, <laughs> We're level one, Jesus! Uh, that's two more damage. How you holding up over there? I'm, I've been better. Oh, wait, he had advantage on that second attack. It was oh, lower. no. No, you're good. You're fine. Well, I mean, you took it. So... I, now, you, I have lost a total of 10 hit points in the last... In, in his surprise round. <laughs> Bilgeback pops up, stabs you with his spear, and then bites into your side... And just starts going. Bleh! What the fuck is this? Bleh! Just blood all over his mouth. His face is shining. <laughs> this is what passes for hospitality. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a baby it's... Merlock. We should have rung the bell. That's yeah. the problem. <laughs> uh, um, so my my house doorbell rings down here. Uh, so uh, now there's gonna. Have to be rage, and it's it's gonna be bad times for well, everyone. But we're I can't gonna do it start yet. off with Jovi. You saw, you just saw Gail get fucked up. Just Gail took care of Dari. Gail is my friend. Fuck this guy, mm-hmm. <laughs> and she owes me a silver. Uh, now here's my question. Um, is is it? Sorry, 
phrasing are his teeth still embedded in her shoulder or has he since moved back i just want to know how I, close they are he he does not have her grabbed in any way okay great that's the big thing i i just don't want to shoot you by mistake thank you, you know? L- luckily it's not a thing in fifth edition good yeah okay some dms do that okay so then that, i want that's mean i want to shoot him yeah um or I, wait yeah also Could i get within distance of him if i move yeah totally yeah, the room's not big. Like, I'd say he's, like, 10 or 15 feet away from you. Ooh, okay, just kidding. Here's what's going to happen. Is so it hook sword time? I, it's hook sword time. I'm so excited. Okay, so, ooh, how do I want to do this? First attack with the hook swords. Um, you know what? If he's standing, I want to go ahead and attack him. My goal, I'm okay with taking this as a called shot, <laughs> is I want to hook him by the ankles and pull. So I want to hurt him, but also I want to use them for a dexterity maneuver. Are called shots a thing in 5th edition? No, but knocking somebody prone is, I think. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm i trip, so you're trying to trip him. Basically, yeah. yeah. Let me but s- I specifically want to use like the inside of the hooks for that. Sure. Let me see. I think you actually have to use the handles. No, I'm just... <laughs> What? Okay, sorry uh, to everyone who was listening. I just gave Cameron the nastiest. What the fuck are you talking about, Luck? Um, okay. <sighs> Trip attack maneuver. See maneuvers. Okay, where are you, maneuvers? Come on, waivers. That, that might be something that's specifically, quote unquote, reserved for a battle master, but I have hook swords. I feel yeah. like that's something I can I do. I think you can trip. Yeah, just I'm yeah. being sure you can. I just, we've played so much. No one's ever tried to trip somebody before, so I don't know how to do it. Uh, in this edition, anyway. It's okay. Uh, uh, Do we want to improvise? Hold on. I think I found it. Page 74. List okay. of maneuvers. Maneuver is a terrible word. It's extremely difficult to spell. Yeah. Man- maneuver. <laughs> a maneuver? When you hit a creature with a weapon attack, you can expend one superiority a die to attempt so, no, to knock that's the a fighter down. No, Fighters can that's, do that. That's fighter. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. Really? I mean, make a yeah. roll at disadvantage. Yeah. Maybe. Possibly. Don't want to like. Okay, you you know what? Fine, I'll just I'll just attack no, him. No, I'll do a boring. Fi- let's attack. figure this out. Let's okay. you know. We're here Damn to it, play we, it better. We yeah. don't want to just hit him in the face. We want to embarrass him slightly while we hit him. In the I face. know, and that's the reason I took the hook swords in the first place is to be able to do my dexterity maneuvers. <laughs> Maneuver. Maneuvers. Yeah. Maneuvers. Yeah. No. Hate I mean, that guy. we can all, we can always edit this out later and fuck the people on Twitch anyway. Wow. Love Hi, you. Twitch. Love you guys. Hi, Twitch. So glad that you're here making sexual advances on our yeah, Twitch viewers. Yeah. So, as it stands, My phone there is, is no. There, <laughs> nice. nice. There is no written rule for it. However, I will. I, I'm happy saying that um, you can't deal damage and trip like a battle master can. You can either hurt him or trip him. Okay. Okay. Because I don't want to just be the the game like. No, in, that in, that in, makes total sense. Yeah, I like that. Um, okay, so I might trip him next turn. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead for the basic. Uh, yes, Cameron. Uh, Cameron has using the attack action. You can make a special melee attack to shove a creature, either to knock it prone or push it away from you. Oh. Uh, you must be no more than one size larger than you, and you must be within your reach. You make a strength athletics check contested by the, either their strength athletics or dexterity acrobatics. Okay. If you win, you knock them prone. How dexterous are swogging? Uh, they're, they're, I mean, they make a, a dexterity saving throw against your attack, right? So, mm-hmm. um, I, since you have hook swords, I will give you advantage on this athletics check. Or may I recommend that the hook swords allow her to use her uh, dexterity acrobatics instead that, of... That's the reason I took them, yeah. Sure. Cool. Sure. Okay. I'm fine with that. Advantage. So... Okay, so one of them got a 17 well, plus... So mm-hmm. it was... You get your dex instead of having advantage. Okay. Okay, great. Then so let me just re-roll that. Just Sorry. roll one. Yeah. That's a nat 20, motherfucker. <laughs> Wait, I don't know why I'm rolling two for him. So, uh, yeah, uh, he is going to absolutely fail that. Um, and you knock Bilge back to the ground. On his Bilge back. That's right. Yeah. yeah. You hook in there, get him in the... He was not expecting that. He's not... He's not, he's not in the water. Okay. He's a little uncomfortable. And he was not expecting the hook. Uh, fishes get caught by the hook. 
Cool. That's, yeah. Fantastic. Now, did so I have we to... we can you... just sit and have a snack. Maybe a short rest. <laughs> and maybe four hours will pass. And, it's uh... an, I'm, I don't think he's going to let you sit there for an hour. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I think that Bilgeback may be a bit more aggressive than that. He may not just simply fall flat on his back and go, you know what, I'll wait. Shit. Okay. <laughs> you guys win this but one. I did knock him on his back. Did I use both hook swords for that or just one? DM call. Uh, uh, That's it, the action, the, the, the shove action is like it, replaces your attacks. Yeah, yeah it's perfect. an attack. I think. Wait, no, wait, wait. No, wait. you said it's an attack action. Wait, wait, there, it said something about that. I know it did. Because normally the two weapon fighting thing is your attack action. A shove mm. is an attack action. So normally, I'm fine with this being an attack action in canon. Though I would like to say that it happened through the use of the swords. That's fine. Sweet. What is it talking? Combat. Here it is. Um. Uh, if you're able to make multiple attacks with the attack action, this attack replaces one of them. Oh, do you have two weapon fighting? I have. Well, I have uh, two hook swords. I don't think I have two weapon fighting yet, though. So for now, I'm going to just hold off on that. But that's something that I know I can do later now. So that's really good. So all of you guys, I set him up for you. Yeah, <laughs> now he ha now anyone that attacks him in melee has advantage on their attack rolls. Um, so that brings us to Rilquist. I will uh, stabify him. Very daintily. That's cock. Not that it matters. Yeah, so that's uh, that's um, twenty four. Yeah, that'll that'll definitely hit Bilge back here. So a D eight and a D six. That's um, twelve damage. Wow. Um. Yeah. You uh. You stab him right. Uh, between his uh, okay. His pecs. If he's if he's prone, no, no, not between his pecs. If he's prone, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna very daintily take my take my rapier out of my cane, reverse it, and just stab him in the eye. He's not dead yet. I know, but he's th he doesn't have an eye. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> sure, maimed, vicious. Fuck yeah, disgusting. Request is practical. That's, Gale, that's, he's a pragmatic kind of guy. Um, it is your turn. I'm actually not gonna gonna waste my rage here. Um, like I'm pretty pissed because you know the bleeding and the biting. Um, I'm just gonna you know kind of look at him and, and slash at him with my axe. That's not what I want to roll. Early on in my Dungeons and Dragons career, I spent an entire night rolling a d12 instead of a d20. <laughs> just because you were playing on hard mode, you you have advantage. Um, you have advantage. So this you have it, advantage. I have advantage. Yeah, yeah, because so he's prone. He's prone. And also, he's surrounded That's by like better. four of us. Um, so I have a fourteen. That'll hit. And an. Ad. Did you add your sneak attack damage for attacking an enemy while prone? Yes. While, uh, okay. Or All while right. you had so advantage. So that's a d six of damage for an X, plus my thing. So it's gonna be eight total. Eight plus twelve is a total of twenty. He is still alive, but you chop him thoroughly. I while, chop him good. Yeah, you embed your axe into his his, his thews. Yeah, wherever. <laughs> Wherever's good for you. Right in the gills. Right in the gills. Which is the shoulder of the... The fish? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mizzy Stone Anchor. What's up? Um, I actually, like, I want to kill him, but also this is a good story moment because I have yet to cast any sort of healing spells and um, ever once in my life. And really? So, yeah. Um, and so I think that what happens in this particular instance is that Mizzy becomes, like, intently focused on the wound that Gail has mm -hmm. in, in a way that like she can't look away from it. And she like reaches up to touch it and like zap. I got zapped. You got zapped with love and healing. You, for 11. 11. Shit. Yeah. I'm fine. Hell yes. Do you want it to be zapped or do you want it to be sea themed? Like, I mean, do you want like salt water to pour out of your hand ooh, and fill somebody's wound and close it? Ooh, that's fun. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what happens. Stings like a motherfucker, oh, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. Yes. I will say that uh, the quickest tattoo I've ever healed was because I explicitly ignored the instructions not to go swimming because it was my last week living on a Mediterranean island, and I'm like, sons of bitches, I'm going swimming, and so I'm paddling around in the Mediterranean, and my 
my foot tattoo, the entire like top scab lifted up in one piece and floated away into the Mediterranean and then I was healed. Incredible. It really was. So now I know if I ever go swimming in the Mediterranean, I'm swimming with uh, Molly's foot You are scab. with my flakes. Mm. It was during bull shark migration season, so something might have eaten it already. <laughs> but like everything is connected. It's so true. I mean at this at this point it's a circle of life. What? At this point, it, it is Bilgeback's turn. Come at us. He's yeah. un, he's unhappy. You prone motherfucker. He stands up. Okay. And that's his turn. No, that's just his movement. He just stands. He, <laughs> he can't walk anywhere. He just stands up. Um, he can do one of those kung fu stand up things, flip things. Yeah. A kip up, as they're called. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Um, and he's he's uh, he's. You know, reaching at his eye, and he's like, ah, 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 growl, growl, growl. Do any of you speak Aquan? No, but Jovi's going to pretend that she can and just make the noises back. Oh, no, wait, I'm sorry. I should have, but They only speak Sahuagin. That seems terribly specific. Yeah. I was stupid and, and really impractical. As my and in fact, he was saying, like their swears. welcome to my home. It's lovely to see you here. Would you like some scones? But in Sahuagin, that sounds exactly like, rah, rah, nobody also, comes into Bill's Also, why didn't house. you rah, ring rah. the doorbell? That would have been incredibly courteous of you. But you know what? I think we can put these disputes aside. Right. It's oh, just God, him you going, stabbed me. It's just him clutching his pearl saying, where are your manners? <laughs> but it doesn't translate well. And rule, also, all the stabbing one. and the biting. Don't translate well. No. Rule one of the rat baggers is that we always ring the bell <laughs> in the future. Maybe this they're is love stabs. I I don't know how Swagen Swagen show their love. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm not okay with this method. So, um, so there I'm, he is. I'm trying to, so do? he's he uh he's realized what with being stabbed in the eye and and chopped chopped with an axe. Chopped with an axe. And the fact that... In the hook swords. In the hook sword tripping. And the fact that he recognizes wa like water-based magic. That he's like, fuck. I'm, uh, he, just, he looks at the four of you and he tries to dip out. He is going to use the disengage action to, to try and get away from you all. But that will only prevent one of you from attacking him. He's going to try and... He can only see one of you. So does he try to get away? He already moved, bear in mind. To st standing up, uh, yeah, but you can sacrifice an action. Yeah, but but that would mean he would disengage, move five feet away, and be stuck there for the entire rest of the round. What do you mean? Because he would have two actions, right? Oh, right, because disengage in this edition isn't a full 30-foot movement. It's just one five-foot step. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. He is going to try to escape. He is not going to simply step five feet away cautiously. He is going to panic, bleeding from the eye. And those of you that are standing next to him with melee weapons, so as everybody but Missy, can attack him. And we, we all get advantage because we're surrounding him? No. No? no. Damn it. Okay. I'm not going yeah, we, to attack yes, him. Yes, we do. There's no flanking rule in 5th edition. The, the, yes. the rule is, the rule is, is that if you're, if you're engaged, you know, believe me because it's important for rogues, if you're engaging with somebody, it is, that is a specific rogue rule. I'm fairly certain that you get treated as I, I, it's a I I I don't look it there, up. There's a yeah. reason we look have these rule books. Up. Yeah, look it up. I remember us talking about it before that there was like no flanking thing, but well, you got to have something here, special because you're you get treated as though you have advantage if there's an ally in melee, but you don't actually get advantage on the roll. Something like that. It's weird. So I know that I was trained in a you know slightly homebrew campaign, but I know that my fighter and the ranger who she ended up having an amazing love story with. It, it's really really great one for the generations. Um, they the reason that they you know became so close was because they started flanking in battle and would just constantly get advantage and always make sure they were on the opposite side of whatever monster they were fighting um so i feel like it is, that is incredibly adorable yeah it was pretty great that's better than Giacomo and esfidel's love story no, it's not <laughs> we just likes to dig up dig up dead things so together maybe that was just that campaign but i feel like it's a thing in fifth we all die right mom Nothing beats the foam and layers love story. That is very it. true. We for, had a honeymoon. For Twitch. We did and we died on it. This is the best honeymoon. For Twitch listeners, thank you so much for um, being patient while we figure out the rules. Um, since I know that there are some of these things that we're all still getting used to in this edition. So <laughs> three, three years later. Yeah. We hey. are playing yeah. better. So, th thank you so much. 
This is this is there reality. Has been a suggestion to eat this guy once you kill him. Oh. Yeah, no, Cameron. If you take the disengage action, your movement doesn't provoke attacks of opportunity for the rest of the round. Yeah. But it also doesn't move you anywhere. I guess that's true. Yeah, cuz I guess he couldn't he, Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. All right, so he can disengage, but he can't actually run. But how yeah, no, will we cook him? Mm-hmm. No, he's he's just going to he's just going to try Skewer? and run. Skewer, we could Does anybody have any tin foil we could make fish pockets? <laughs> <laughs> like butter, some lemon, capers. Ooh, a caper. Mm. Serve it over just a, a bed of butter, lemon and parmesan does, pasta. Does anyone have dill? Ooh, please make that Ooh. for me. That sounds amazing. It's it's real good. Mm-hmm. I usually make it with salmon. Are we actually gonna cook this whole again? We have more curry I mean, upstairs. Maybe. I mean, now I'm hungry. <laughs> We're back to the splendid table <laughs> talk. I have not gotten a new casserole recipe in a while, so I have to get my splendid table talk uh, fixed this somewhere. This is this is exciting. So my people don't have casserole. We have hot dish. Because I'm from South Dakota and we don't say casserole, we say Cameron, hot yes. dish. You don't need advantage on the roll if another enemy of the target is within five feet of it. That enemy isn't capacitated and you don't have disadvantage on the attack roll. There That's is right. no flanking in fifth Other, Otherwise, it's, it's DM's call. Right. You're yep. absolutely right. Yep. Okay, cool. Glad we yep. clarified that. Okay, so. Yeah. You, I, you, I rolled a two. So. <laughs> Let me Ask okay. me about stovetop hot dish when we're done. It's an abomination, and it's delicious. I got a 17 on that attack. That will hit. I mm-hmm. feel like there's marshmallows in that. There is not, um, but there's a lot of stovetop stuffing. So did Mo- Molly, did Gale swing no. at Bill? Okay. He's trying to get away. She appreciates him as a creature of the sea, and we think there was just a mis... I overreacted, <laughs> and so did he, and now we understand each other, and I'm going to tell him, do, 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 no, 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 we don't want your house. You can have it. We just need to check it out real quick. Jovi, your attack of opportunity was successful. He only has two hit points left, so your minimum damage has to kill him. So describe to me how you you kill this fish with a hook as it's trying to run away. So I think that Gail is trying to say these things about, oh no, we don't want to... And as she's in the middle of the sentence, Jovi is still in battle mode, so she just grabs him by his probably... Oh, what is that? His his his, 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 his fin ears, his spiny so, gill flange. Yes, so she she grabs the you need fin ten of them to make a stew. Go- <laughs> Not my spiny gill flange. <laughs> she she grabs the fin that is going from his forehead all the way down his back, pulls back, and then takes the hook sword and just slashes his chest. And he will he will fall to the ga- the ground. Ble- he'll he'll flop a lot before he dies, <laughs> just flopping Whoa! around on the ground. <laughs> Just get, oh, he's not done Ow. yet. He's not done yet. And then, Ow. and then he will just flop into the water and just flop, Aww. flop. And his little mouth is. <laughs> it totally is. Oh God. It's it's a it's a giant dying shark, man. And Dari oh. barks at it. Uh, he is dead. <laughs> and it's like <laughs> pawing it. You know that thing that dogs do when they're over water and they like are trying to swim. He's basically just like lightly putting his paw. Like I want to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Mm-hmm. Well, now we have to cook him because we can't let him go to waste. Does anyone have any lemon? Uh, <laughs> yes. Is that part of my explorer's pack? I like. I feel like you all gain twenty-five experience points. Yes. Yay! I mean, like we have grog. We have to have grog, right? Yeah. Um, as I, from what I've played of Sea of Thieves, there's an infinite amount of it in your boat. Yeah, and that's super lemony. Lemon grog? And all grog is lemony. Limey. Is it what? Because of the vitamin C to prevent the scurvy. That's what grog is for. Lime, not lemon. Okay, sure. Citrus. So Citrus. Citrus down. Persimmon. Um, the m- not a citrus. Persimmon's not citrus? No. Thank you for it, production. You're welcome. You have two you have a you have a dead sahuagin floating into the briny river. The moment, river. the moment that happens, Jovi is gonna go over to Gale and examine where the wounds had been, and just say, "Hey, are are you all right? That that was really sudden. Are are you? Yeah, fucking Missy saved my ass right there. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, Missy, uh, what, what was that water shit you just did? Um, 
So a, she sort of like looks at her hands and is flipping them up and down, going like, I'm not sure what that was, but. I'm going to ignore all this shit and, and like hook an ankle with my, my cane and pull them over and, and uh, rifle the body. How do I do that again? Um, if there is anything to be rifled. Uh, he had a, a bunch of assorted knickknacks, but none of it valuable. He has like a, a very tiny a, fish. A hook. small candle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, all, Three all, cows in a bag. They're, they're all. It's all just uh, gray items. Uh, a wolf pelt. <laughs> <laughs> He's got nothing but vendor trash on yeah. him. All right. I don't know that wolf pelt in Witcher. Let me um, become very good friends with that nice dryad lady. Just very good friends. We had a nice conversation. <laughs> with your genitals. a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> I killed a lot of wolves. We we can we conversed many times. <laughs> Extensive conversation. Talked about the state of things, you know. You, you, with your genitals. You find a Sahuagin spear. Millhouse 69. <laughs> Would you like to search this Sahuag? He, do, he doesn't have like a satchel or any other compartment with which to carry things. Then He's I don't have to search very hard. A, a, uh, according to the uh, artistic interpretation, they just have a shoulder. Pa- they just have shoulder pads and a skirt. Well, that was enough to get you through the 80s, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm imagining Die Hard, but entirely. <laughs> That's an amazing mental image. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Now I've got a machine gun. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Okay, remind y- us y- of the layout of the- <laughs> So you you can the the <laughs> That's the baby. All right. That's the baby All right. Murlocs. Focusing. Remind us We're of- focusing. Yeah. I am focused I on re- baby Murlocs. Act your faces. So uh, Mizzy is is marveling at her hands. We've fuck? all checked in and said, "Okay, we're all doing all right." Mm-hmm. Roquist is sort of messing with the body. Um and I as as far as phrasing, I know. Um, as far as uh, the rest of the room, um, is there any way that I can make some sort of uh, perception check or something like that to figure out which one would probably be the side of the house that has the bedrooms? Probably upstairs, right? So from what you can see from where you are, um, you came in. So if you turn back around to the front door, that's to the south. Mm-hmm. There is another door directly opposite it to the north that would lead further into the house. And then there's another door and you can tell cause it's there. It's a large, heavy steel door, um, mm-hmm. with a, um, Oh, what's the word? The, the, the thing that you put on like ships to, to, to make a door, like the wheel that you put on uh, a heavy door to make mm-hmm. it like seal. I don't completely. know the word for that, but I know exactly what you're talking Just about. Just a full, yeah. a full wheel. Lock. I yeah. worked on, a submarine for quite some time that utilized many of those. And um, I believe that the uh, maritime uh, terminology we used was wheel thingy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you can see ahead of you is clearly a uh, uh, not storm door because it's not just keeping the rain out from the outside. It's down to the cellar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what the fuck would you call that? I'm going to call it the wheel thingy. I like Molly's idea. The wheel Molly's door? The, the, a, yeah, it's a vault wheel. door. A vault door. Yeah, call. sure, yes. sure, sure. A um, hatch. H-A-T-C-H. Hatch. hatch. Yeah, sure. All right, entire staff of the Baltimore Maritime Museum. We but, all lose. But it's because... but it's a, it's a, it's not like a circular hatch. It's a full-on like rectangular door. <laughs> what would Gary Gygax call it? A, a, a valve, probably. A vatch? A vatch. <laughs> <laughs> Um. <laughs> Unironically, the the, va- the vaginal entry, uh, and, and and it's the vaginal vestibule. Oh, Jesus no. Christ! <laughs> no. To your right of that, I to the right of that door, is a uh, is a simple nope. wooden waterlogged door. I speak the Elvish word for friend. <laughs> it does not open. <laughs> Mizzy, I don't know about you. Um, the biggest fuck metal door, mm-hmm. for some reason, feels like the one we might need to go through. That's a chunk. I go yeah, try to open it. it. Yeah, let's let's try and open it. Okay. Let's see. What did I label this room? And Jovi's okay, gonna try and definitely not trapped. I, I, <laughs> what it's labeled. I feel like just 
uh, Scooby Doo slash teamwork moment of both of us just immediately reaching for it together and chunk. I like that. Like, maybe maybe I just go up a little bit whoop, so that my feet are off the ground because there, I am. There's and I make sure to like help you bring yourself back down to the ground. I'm doing, I'm doing the little walk that you do when you're snorkeling and you don't want to kick the rays because I'm afraid there's more swaggins hiding in the mud. So I'm like shuffling my feet on the bottom as I go. Mm-hmm. So hold on, hold on, hold on. The room ahead of you, you, I, I let me read you the room description before you decide to step Please. into it. Um, the room ahead of you uh, is an entirely steel uh, room, top to bottom, wall to wall, and there are small uh, one-inch diameter holes uh, interdispersed throughout all of the sides of this room. On the other side of the room is another hatched door. I would like to roll f- to sh- check for traps. Do I do I see a pineapple anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> is there a credenza? No, no. But, but possibly a couch. And Davenport. Mm-hmm. Yes, you can make a perception check. Great. And actually, question: Can I? I don't know if this is allowed. Can Dari like sniff the air? I got a natural twenty on my perception check. Fuck yes. So did I. Yeah. I got a 26. Extremely wow. Perceptive. I did 22, not. but still. Both of you noted. And, and a 19 plus. That's not true. 23. Four. 23. Nice. Yeah, so I noticed it before either of you, though. <laughs> you sure do. I'm busy you, shuffling. In, in, let all of let it like, be known it. <laughs> that Cameron won this perception check. <laughs> All of you simultaneously have a eureka except, moment, except for Cameron, Cameron, who notices a millisecond a before us. Sooner, I've got the, the I, I've, right. I got the Sherlock text popping up all around my head. <laughs> Realquist, who has Realquist, who is uh, slightly more equal than the rest of you. Th- this is my thing. This is what I do. <laughs> well, I mean, I, you all. I, I, really not- I notice things and disapprove. Yeah, that you, is my. That is my thing. You all did really well. That, not, that's not. That's not good enough. Your I compatriots did, well. did as what well. your your compatriots succeeded. Well, let's let's as put it well. this way. I notice before they do, but I don't make a big deal about it. Okay. You want us to? You want us to feel? Oh, good he about just does, he does a little like cane and hair flip, and it's just like yeah, no. And then both of us are just freaking the fuck out over here. What do we notice? You notice that the floor uh, is disconnected from the walls, um, <clears throat> uh, leaving room for a depression switch that that that. Uh, would trigger regardless as to where you are in the room. If you were standing in the room, it would set off the trap. You also notice that the entirety of the room um, uh, has long expo- long exposure to water damage. Um, so, can I find like a board somewhere? Sure. And like lay, it, lay it from it. entry to entry to entryway so it doesn't Ooh. depress the. Good idea. Yeah, I was thinking that or looking at the ceiling and seeing if there's anything we can like. The hatch grab door is onto. closed on the other side. Right. Well, yeah. Okay. So there's no there's no little like uh, lip to, to to put a board on. No, that's stupid. Okay. Question: If this house is mostly made of wood and a lot of it has sort of started falling apart because of water damage, how far apart are the floorboards and in, in the ceiling? Uh, there's a reason I'm asking. This room yeah. is all steel, though, right? This room is all steel. Oh, that's right. Okay. Um, and the rest that's of the house, uh, the the rest of the house is sort of back. The second floor is only above this pa- this this other entryway. Uh, the rest of it has sort of fallen through, and you can see if you if you're the room you're standing in, in the foyer, if you look straight up, you just see debris. I go grab the swagin, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna throw him in here. All right, you throw him Ooh. in there. The door like slams that. shut. Uh, in front of you all, and you hear the sound of bubbling uh, coming from the inside of the room, mm-hmm. and, like a uh, uh, gushing running water. Mm-hmm. After mm-hmm. about... Everyone roll to see if you have to tinkle. After <laughs> about 10 minutes, um, you hear a, cathunk, uh, a spin and a cathunk as the hatch door on the other side opens. Okay. And then after about another minute, the door on your side opens and the Sahuagin's corpse is thoroughly waterlogged and washed clean. It's a spin cycle. Oh yeah, almost exactly. Minus the spin. I wonder if we can figure out where, where that happens and somehow clog it up. After about disable a, the trap. After yes. about a minute, 
of <clears throat> leaving the corpse Everyone in the center poop, of the room. So we can it depresses again, this. the door slams shut, and it begins filling with we water. We have time. We have time. It takes a minute before it depresses again. Okay. I, guys... Everyone get ready. I think we just need to make a run for it the moment that the door opens again. Because the door on the other side is going to be open. It takes a minute. There's a delay. The tank has to refill. Yeah, what, what do you think? Gail has an intimate knowledge of plumbing. All right. You noticed, however, I will give you this, that the door on the other side was shut when the door on your side opened. Oh, how far away is the other door? Uh, what did I draw in here? 20 feet. And above us is just debris? Above you on the, uh, the in the foyer, yes, is just debris. Is there, what about above us in the, the if room? If we could block the door it, from closing. I was going to say, are there any logs or wood that we could throw over there? No, 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 not, not, not over on the other side, on this side. Then it couldn't fill, and it, we could. And, and, and <clears> when <throat> the other one opens, we could just walk through. Let's or slosh it. through. Let's try it. Okay, how do you how do you attempt to prop the door open? With brawn and intellect. Okay, okay. So who... I can try to hold it shut for everybody while they go. No, so, no, no, no. So you're are you going to try and hold the door no, open? No, 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 no. We're going to put like logs and stuff in in the opening. The plug so, in so there. So that so that it it doesn't can't close properly. Okay, okay. So you put uh, a boat. So. Uh, you all with your, uh, yes. What if we got the anchor from the ship? It would be, you'd have a hell of a time disconnecting it. Um, I'm not saying you can't. Really? I'm just, I'm just trying to think of something heavy. That's all. You could untie it, you know. I mean, is it a chain? Is it rope? Line? Excuse me. Usually, uh, depending on the depending on the ship the anchor is at the front chained mm -hmm. through chained through the ship to a capstan mm -hmm. somewhere does the living room have a, sh a collapsed chandelier or a collapsed bookshelf or anything like that is there a credenza yeah there's tons of stuff there's like yeah, uh, yeah let's, just I, use that. let's just pull over that credenza yeah you guys you guys credenzas are tough um, that's true uh <laughs> like there are there are flowing brown <laughs> tapestries um and well, stuff tapestry like ain't gonna help us in this situation uh, They're I mean, heavy. Have you ever like held an actual tapestry? Like, well, just heap it up, man. Actually, they, if it was thick enough, it probably would. Yeah. So just and roll it, would, it, up? it wouldn't break like wood. It's like a carpet. Well, I I know yeah. I know what a tapestry is. <laughs> I just I, I'm used to so the the church that we went to when I was growing up, they were extremely thin the tapestries that they had. So I just wasn't. But they're uh, a thicker material. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So oh, then yeah. I just had a bad reference point. In that case, yeah, let's roll it up. Yeah. So you guys do that. Um, you they were often used as insulation as much as anything else. You you stuff the um, the entry hatch with a tapestry and other assorted junk. A credenza. A credenza. Um, uh, the idea of an anchor. Uh, Perhaps a pineapple. <laughs> Wait, now can we see over the pile? We yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Totally, good. totally. <laughs> so when the trap resets uh, and the Sahawagan's body triggers it again, the room starts filling from the top. There is a, a and uh, from the sides near the bottom, you can see that the Sahuagin is being sort of suction cupped to the floor so that the, the floor is making sure that whoever would stand there can't like jump out easily. Mm -hmm. That's like a, like an undertow keeping somebody there. Mm -hmm. And then it just starts draining out past you. Is there an obvious drain somewhere? Yeah, it's draining okay. out through the bottoms and the side. Well, no, it's not at this point um, uh, because it's obviously a drowning trap. So it's draining. So I'll take one of the tapestries and throw it over the floor. Okay. Um, and specifically over the Sohuagan body. Right? Whatever. Yeah. 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 So yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys. Just so we don't have to worry about the suction when we go across. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Um, then, after a while, after again about ten or fifteen minutes, it runs out of. I'm going to say, uh, you know, I'll make it a hard, hard thing. After 10 minutes, the room stops filling because the trap is out of water and the other side doesn't open. You should cross real quick. And your, but then after about a minute, your side opens back up. Well, it's, it stayed open. Right, 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 right. But like no, the, the, you can the, hear the mechanism. The mechanism clicks and then it, it goes back fully open. All right, since I'm probably best or, at swimming, should I go across first and try to open the door? I'm, but by all, by all means, but please be careful. 
We tie a rope around your waist. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> I'm holding on to it. So are you going to are you going to Do you need help holding the rope? Keep sure. the door okay, are you cool. going Grabbing to keep the, the door barred so that it can't shut? Yes. yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. You go over, you trigger the trap, you get you, you get your rain shower. It's extremely it's it's river water. Um uh you get covered in water after ten minutes. Uh oh, you get over to the other side. The mm. door doesn't open when you turn it. Okay, I'll wait. After the ten minutes, nothing. Um mm. Those of you that had uh, gotten your amazing perception checks earlier notice. Uh, in particular. In so, particular. So me. Realquest. Yeah. Realquest yeah. Real knows followed this, by, this followed data. by Mizzy and Jovi. Yeah, yeah. Uh, milliseconds behind each other. Um, uh, it, it becomes apparent that the locking mechanism is tied to the volume of the room. Mm-hmm. So it's when the room is full, the other door opens. Where's the trigger for that? Um, from what you can see, uh, in uh, you would have to enter the room to find it. Well, we yeah, just start putting fine. stuff in the room. That's, no, no, I mean, I go, we go into the room and look around, see where the hell the the the, the trigger is. Sure. Um, so you uh, 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 do you enter the room and just let it rain on you, or do you try to do this in the one minute in between? Um, doesn't matter really. Okay. I'll, I'll uh, you know, when I, 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 have, I have a cloak. I'll, I'll just hold the cloak over my head. Well, I didn't know if Realquist was was would deign to let himself be rained on by river water. He, well, yeah, he'll have. But I mean, he's not going to stand in there without something to cover himself. Okay. Like you know, I'm he's... perpetually damp. <laughs> <laughs> um, not surprising. Gail, the ever moist. What about your character? The ever moist. <laughs> <laughs> And that's now her last name. Gail Ever Moist. Uh, oh, oh, God, please Ever no. Oh, I hate that word. Moist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wrote it real small. Thank you. Uh, so I can be you in go denial in there. about it. Uh, you get your, your cold, nasty rain shower. Um, uh, give me a perception check with advantage because you know what you're looking for. That would be a 24. You find uh, that the that the top holes on the walls mm-hmm. there's there's one on either side that uh, uh, have switches in them. So if you if if two people who were taller much taller than you um, or you know it, it, me standing on someone's shoulders. Yeah, yeah. You in were, an overcoat pretending to be one guy, like a, a cane or something. <laughs> man, anything that you could fit into a one inch diameter drainage hole. Uh, you could, anything. I mean, if it's sufficiently <laughs> stiff enough. Oh God! <laughs> Millhouse sixty nine. I don't it's know just, how. It's <laughs> just where we are tonight, folks. I, I don't know. I don't know what to do about Park it. Park production is lodging a formal complaint. <laughs> Hostile workplace. No, you need... you're not letting me join. You're not liking me. <laughs> you need an HR form. <laughs> so, how do you go about solving this puzzle? Well, do you let us know? Because uh, no, I tell no. Yes, of course I let you know. Okay, great. <laughs> Jesus. So, then, then, Real and, figures it out and goes back to the boat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, peace. That's the end of my adventure. Let's get um, the spear or something. My cane should fit fine on one of the other sides. Click, click, click. Congratulations! You all uh, depress the drainage valves at the top of this trap, opening the door to the other side of the room. It opens like an automatic door. Uh, and will allow you to pass through the trap. So the the combined tapestries uh, barring the door plus the tapestry. Can uh, we you know, pause? Yeah. I'm so sorry. I thought he couldn't reach them by himself, and we never established who did use them. I was hoping for some great short person role play there. Sure. Yeah, you can I'm absolutely. Not, I, I'm not here to cater to your needs. <laughs> wow, wow, Mr. Oh, I'm sorry. I rolled one number better, so I notice everything a millisecond was, before everyone it was, else. It was two better. It was two. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm just saying, if real Chris. I'm really a halfling. Wants to I'm not an object, okay? If, if you really wanted to block one of, of the. Uh, water de- depression whatever they're called what are they called drainage valves. thank you the drainage <laughs> valves if you wanted to block one of the drainage valves you know you would have to ask you know mizzy or gail or i very nicely so, i'm so extremely like, wait. i am extremely tall or i could just say have miss ever moist come over and 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 tell her to do it which i think is more what i would do 
Mm-hmm. Just like, hey, muscles, come over here. <laughs> you've you've had a you've had a shower today, Gail. Yep, and Jovi would probably just stick the bow right in or something. <laughs> the bow. <laughs> I mean, he used the end of his cane. Anyway, so when yeah. we do that, you do that. We also block the other door. Yep. Okay. Yep. And go through. Let's go through that door. Find out what wonders await us on the other side. Congratulations, you all have you all have solved a complicated trap. It's a trap. Yeah. Uh, which is worth a fair amount of experience Hell points. Yeah. Woo! I'm level four now. Uh, each of you gains 163 experience points. 163? What? The, what? Huh? That puts it at 203 total. Yep. You have to get to 300 for first for a second Son level. Son of a bitch. 213. Mm-hmm. 213 XP. Yep. Perhaps we could go and we could find a place that has a lot of rats. And we could <laughs> kill them all one by one. Or just, them. Or just bag them individually. <laughs> that counts individually as being defeated. Sealed. You buy <laughs> vacuum sealed rats. If a rats. if a rat lets you bag it, then you have defeated it. That's true. That's just science. Rat science. Oh, well, can I just say people always scoff about you know killing rats quests at the beginning of things. Real life rats are fucking terrifying. They're super smart. I love rats. I I mean I love them. I They're, had pet but they rats are for a very long time. They're so smart. I used to breed hairless mm-hmm. rats. <gasps> I'm not talking about those. They I'm look talking like tiny about house elves. I'm talking, talking about, about Baltimore rats. I'm talking about the ones that that are as long as your forearm. Oh yeah, yeah. That they're, like, they're terrifying. That that those are li- Norway rats. That live in your in your walls. Are yeah. you asses? So so okay. Yeah. Well, you guys get in. It's not so oh. You so guys there, get so into this we room. Sorry. So there we were. Yes. So you step into the Sicily. Next. Picture it. 1912. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> For being a friend. Directly ahead of you is a set of stairs leading up to the. travel down the stairs and back again. (laughs) Your ex is true. Okay. You're a dwarf. Okay, so who, who's who is what I need to know right now. You. Okay, it's definitely the rose of this group. (laughs) But you're so tall. I know. (laughs) So we step into the room. Uh huh. Wait, 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 let's finish this though. We can't just let this go by. We can't just let our Golden Girls references. Yeah, you're definitely language. Rose. Molly's definitely Rose. Okay. Um, I see myself as a Dorothy. Okay. And if you formed a party, I, I don't know who's I, the, who's the, Blanche. Yeah, really? Who'd think, you point at you for, the, the for the audio listeners? Oh, at home? I, I pointed to Jovi because Jovi was the one slutting it up last adventure. Yep, you're the Blanche. Oh, I thought we were talking about us personally. Oh no. Because I, I see you as more of the Blanche. Oh, well, yeah, that's for real. I'm like a super I'm, gay Blanche. I'm definitely the Dorothy of the group. <laughs> Once upon a time, my good friend, Brian Patterson, I had asserted that I was a soft butch Blanche Devereaux, and he made me a book cover called Cool Breeze in the Bayou. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw super gay Blanche open for Baltimore Bitch Face in 78. How, How are they? they? Um, God damn it, I wish I had something. Just... <laughs> Golden. <laughs> All right. You're so, fu- have we ever talked about how Blanche Devereaux was played by Rue McClanahan? Mm-hmm. And how I happen to be a McClanahan. Miss Molly McClanahan. We have never discussed that. No. She is a Texas McClanahan. I am a Virginia McClanahan. <laughs> so we can never have you in the same room at the same time. Yeah, we're like the Highlander. <laughs> <laughs> A super skanky Highlander. <laughs> what was the mom's name? Sophia. Sophia. Sophia right? well, don't yell at me like Jesus I. Jesus Christ! For, I forget names. Okay, it's my. It's one of my things. So yeah, I, th- I think I think Marissa, you're you're kind of a Sophia. I've never seen Golden Girls. Oh no! You are in for a treat. <laughs> it's true. It's so good. I, I've it heard really wonderful is. things. I've just no. Never it really, seen it. it really, it is. really is it so ha- good. It has aged so well compared to most eighty sitcoms. <laughs> it's so progressive. And, it really is. And Blanche the... had a gay brother. Sorry, I got really excited about. We were very uh, passionate about her Blanche's gay past. brother. Just, the Clayton, gay brother. Clayton would not refer to Doug as his friend. mm Hmm. Because it's, he wasn't, and it's like it's a whole thing about like like her coming to accept him and yeah. and it's, it's and then uh, and Jerry Orbach is like a bit player for a bunch of episodes and it really it's just, is. just it's extremely good and the fashion oh so many shoulder pads <laughs> duly noted all right, all right. 
Rat this baggers. Is, Dungeons no. and Dragons. Mm-mm. Please. This is Golden Girls Review Podcast now. <laughs> Before you is a set of stairs leading up to the second floor. To your left... Is it Lanai? Uh, are, are two uh, separate... Like, diagonally to your left is a, uh, a door. Directly to your left is a door. And then directly to your right is a set of double doors. Which door is the fanciest looking? Or the most secure looking? Uh, are, they, are they all pretty standard? The most doors? confident. Is this room steel again, or is it wood? This room goes back to wood. Okay, cool. So obviously, if we made it past that trap, we're meant to be here, and we deserve to have whatever is here because they didn't bother to. Uh... Oh, show. Yeah. Is it just three doors, or is there anything in particular inside this room? Like, what kind of is it? A dining room, <laughs> antechamber. You know? So it, it's like the, a, the board a, game room, a secondary you know? vestibule. It's it's kind the of solarium. It's he has a double foyer. He's, this is a sec. This is the proper foyer. It is not the. It is not the trapped foyer that he uses it's to a secret hidden foyer to to, to lure people. <laughs> it, is, it is not the false foyer where there's a mummy that is not actually a Sarah. It's a <laughs> foyer. 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 Yeah, you guys. You guys no. entered the foyer. <laughs> Then uh, went through the wow. trapped hallway. Guys, we got into the foyer. <laughs> wow. Hey there, hon. You can't go in that foyer. <laughs> no. You better I watch out it. for that water trap right over there, hon. No water trap. It's water trap. <laughs> it's just... like a giant sink. It's just all this water. There. This is amazing. Got to wash and rose them, them uh, cloves in the sink. Can we just have a night where we use the accents of our people? <laughs> Because Always. I will go extremely well, one day, hard. One I already day did when that we have, during One Ring. Uh, right. <laughs> when we have the Azure Claw, all of the orcs are going to have very hard Baltimore accents. That's right. That's right. All right. So, yeah. So, there is... So uh, we need to pick a door. Yeah. There are two doors to your left and one door to your right and stairs going up. Start at the left. To the left. To the left. Uh, the, the, the door to your... to the left. Mm-hmm. Uh, how are we doing on time? You. I got you. Thank you. It is 9-12. We have enough time to go through doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do this next thing. Uh, so, the Ew, a vestigial vestibule. That's gross. Do you go uh, through that the the northern the 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 northern door to your left, or the western or the western door to your left? Whichever one's leftest. Uh, that would be the, the western. western door. Yeah, western door. The left go is west. Left. You enter. Life is peaceful there. You enter into a grisly dining room. Uh, the, grisly? Is it just full of bears? <laughs> Yes. That would be exciting. Yeah, just a, just a bear like, family sitting around with just just wearing nice polo shirts. And this one's ta- just right. Talking all their fancy human talk. Mm-hmm. That with, is not the kind of bear I was imagining. No, it is not that. The pineapple kind of set me on a certain mind for the evening. Just think about a single bear on Twitter.com. I think about that bear every day. I just worry about it. A single bear. A single bear. That's... I, I miss NIH bear. Oh. I bet that was a good bear. He was. He was the. He had a Twitter for like five minutes. He was the bear that randomly wandered onto the NIH campus, <laughs> <laughs> and someone made him a Twitter instead of you know possibly removing the bear. Listen, if something can be a social media sensation, he was for like eight seconds. Uh-huh. You know, if a bear comes onto the the NIH campus or any campus really, generally speaking, the bear can go where he wants. And I'm really confused because that's not far from where I live, and I've not seen a bear. Hmm. I only have deer, they're, they're which not could very... be which could be bears in disguise. In disguise, yeah. Well, they're not very social, but that one was there. It had very, very, very strong concerns about national health. I see foxes a lot. Good, good for him. I saw a fox the other night. It was extremely special. And woodchucks. Woodchucks are like I, who designed? I that? have a woodchuck. I have woodchucks they're like beavers, that live but under my less... shed. Their names Lesser are Mr. beavers. They're like they're like. If there was an opposite of dire. I saw, I saw one the them. other day. I saw one run. Yeah, no, no. It's, like, it's, like, <laughs> it's like you took a slinky and covered it in felt. I know. I, I, them. Didn't, I didn't know they had tails. They're just tail pretty recently because there's two that live under my shed. There's Mr. and Mrs. Shed, and they live <laughs> under my shed where my cat was born. <laughs> so that was how I learned that uh, groundhogs have tails. Wow. Once, once. My dog, my my very old Boston Terrier, there's a woodchuck in the lawn and he took off, just like peeled. It was there and he like ran and he like 
jumped on him but then didn't know what to do like i've made contact with this predator and so he like stood on top of him for like a brief second and then hauled ass back up to the deck because he was like what the fuck did i do anyway that's great anyway so we're in a grizzly dining room yes uh um but no bears in a uh an assortment of Horrifically butchered sea life, Sahuagans, uh, other Gross. other uh, sentient sea people. I'm just um, horrified. Uh, just torn apart everywhere. Do um, I have to make a sanity check? <laughs> no. Uh, all over the floors. All, there's there's viscera all over the walls, um, and you viscera. Uh, yeah, viscera. Uh, <laughs> uh, there is uh, a door on your right on the northern side of the room. Uh, and the meat in the center of the table, the fetid carcasses are buzzing. Gross. I don't, I don't feel any particular need to go through this room. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> especially seems, hungry. I feel like we seems could unwelcoming. maybe... Let's just slowly shut the door on that one. <laughs> I, okay, before, before we leave it, can I just try and make some sort of investigation check and just see what may have torn these things apart so just to make you aware investigation is like close quarters using a magnifying glass turning stuff over interacting with it mm. we can come back to this if we really need to i, I don't i don't feel like we really need perception to perception check to try and see if just i can like if we... see the kind of wounds they are yeah, yeah could i could i do like a nature check to see if i recognize the type of animal who could have done this damage Ooh, a medicine check uh, I will, I will do this Can around. Can I make a religion check to just make a check? Acrobatics. Okay. I'm Animal gonna go, handling. I'm going to go from, from Jovi to Gail to Mizzy. So, uh, Jovi, make your check. That ain't great, y'all. That's a 13. It It is obvious that they were indiscriminately butchered. Gail, what do you got? Um, that's going to be an 11. It was big. Um, so, uh, it looks like they were just... Indiscriminately butchered? Uh, you don't see any natural animal marks. Hmm. I'll give you that. Hmm. Okay. Guys, I don't see any natural animal marks. A one! On what check? (laughs) They're dead. Do you want medicine? Put it in the fucking bag? Medicine. No. Okay. It'll do better. It's like next you stand, time. stand up with your sunglasses in hand and go. Like, <laughs> it's like these guys are gonna sleep with the fishes. Yeah. yeah! 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 Woo! This is. The, but that. But that's not their. Because this is, that's the cut scene in a Law and Order. Chunk yeah. chunk chunk chunk. Like, you can tell. Uh, you with even with your one. You you can tell that there was not enough discernible anatomy left in the correct places. To draw a conclusion as to their butchering. Ah, yes. I saw a discernible anatomy. <laughs> Open for both okay, we carry it. How, how were, were they? they? How were they? Well um, rounded. Choppy. Protuberant. <laughs> <laughs> Grotesque. So, a little rough around the edges. <laughs> kind of gut wrenching. So yeah. how. Gut wrenching. So I did really. Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? You got it. So, so do any of you enter this room? Nope. No. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> nope. Bye. Shut, we all shut stand in, in the doorway and like all, yeah. Wait, and all of us look in and go. Our opinions. Wait. All of us just look in and go. No. <laughs> just, just close the door. Good thunk. Yeah. I'm level one. Sign? <laughs> <laughs> Don't open. Fucked up inside. Spiders inside. <laughs> <laughs> we did that. Oh. We did. <sighs> Uh, we did that in Ravenloft. Mm-hmm. We a, well, th- they did that in Ravenloft. We, we opened up a door. There was just a bunch of giant spiders, and we just shut the door and actually put on their don't open spiders, spiders inside. inside. <laughs> so let's try the next door. Um, all right. Let's see. I have that labeled as door number seven. What's behind door number seven? Ah. Uh, uh, this room houses rotten food and other remnants of a clearly... Uh, Misused larder. <laughs> How do you misuse wait, a larder? Wait, what? 
an abused pantry, if you yeah, will. It, it, yeah, yeah. Uh, what does it like have a Volkswagen in it? No, <laughs> there is more gore and viscera haphazardly thrown in here rather than properly stored. <laughs> well, you know, properly storing viscera can be kind of kind of tough. It's true. You have to get your like. There are your there... your like. What's the kitchen supply? People that make the like ergonomic. You have to get their version of a canopic jar. Well, it, it looks William and Sonoma. There, it's definitely the William Sonoma version of a canopic jar. There is a or Black and Decker. <laughs> I can like almost read the description of that in the store, right? I mean, I'm picturing it in my mind. There, there is like a there is like half a cow that was forcibly thrown into a set of uh, wooden shelves that smashed it as it hit it up against the wall. Clearly, um, uh, and then there are just some more like shark bits. You can tell from the fins just sort of everywhere. <laughs> Whatever is over in the next room that is making the corpses buzz apparently did this. You can see a trail of blood going from the larder to the room. What do you mean, making the... I thought that was flies. No, I said the corpses on the table were buzzing. Oh. oh yeah, we I, I interpret it as flies as well. Yeah. I mean, nope. I'm not going to... Uh, we definitely don't need to go in I'm there not now. They did make, not sound I'm like not flies. I'm not going to make judgments on someone's marital aid choices. If they would like to own adult novelties, your your kink is okay with me. That are made of a decomposing cow. It sounded more like there were a few hornets' nests embedded in whatever was in that table, um, and they were all angry. Well, I'm super glad if we I, didn't go in there. If I had to describe the noise, that isn't what's in there. But let's just shut that door. Yeah, you shut the door. Door number two. Ah! Behind that door, bees. <laughs> Oprah dot gif. It's the Oprah gif with the bees. <laughs> <laughs> she does the dance. <laughs> and the women and the women are crying. <laughs> gif descriptions, a podcast. <laughs> Making gifs accessible with Liz Brink. Oh, shit. There's there's an Oprah gif. It's bees. <laughs> Do you all go and go the... to beesbeesbees.com and it just is the gif in case you're wondering. <laughs> yes, we go to the next thing. The door across the hallway from you uh, is, number three. A, is a set of double doors uh, that when opened. Uh, reveal... Would you call them bivalves? <laughs> they are, in fact, bivalves. <laughs> uh, thank you, Gary Gygax, for teaching us that on a set of double doors, an individual door is known as a valve. Um, anyway, uh, we did we did no. like t- twenty minutes on it. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, there, we had strong feelings. Uh, this hallway is short. There is another door uh, at the end of the hallway, but in here are uh, a myriad of curio cabinets that <gasps> are uh, mm-hmm. waist high on a human. Um, that have that the glass for which is smashed. Um, they're like. Rectangular prisms up on tiny little legs that would have had a glass front. That like it's like a coffee table that you could also have stored nice things in. Ding ding ding! I believe Almost. this room may be a winner. Hmm. I mean, does there look like there are any actual curios in these things, or is it just like a series of shattered, empty? And like, is it already gone? There, it's but. it's not necessarily empty, um, but it's not filled with anything valuable either. It looks like bilge back. Uh, at some point stored all of his personal useless belongings in here. So there are like shells. They were important to him. It's his and shell collection. Yeah. Oh, I love him. I'm so sad we killed him. I know, me too. And like and like his neatly <laughs> arranged. Some flashbacks of wanting to run tests on seashells. It's hard for me. Uh, he's got like Rip seashells, like, like, like shiny oysters, uh, sans pearls. Uh, and he's got like his like his collection of favorite round rocks oh. that he's put in this curio. Why do you feel like this motherfucker? Because now I feel bad. I feel so bad because it makes me laugh. Rude. God <laughs> damn it. Because I had to put this after the room where you kill him. You can't this make is... the monsters actual beings. God. He was this... trying. He he moved in after uh, Yeldrin died, and he had been slowly. He found a trap. He was like. He'd been Gentrifying. He was trying to Sahuag and gentrify. Well, then that that alone is reason enough to kill him. Yeah, uh, let's get built back tattoos. Because he had like he had like fa- like the trap was such that he could just stand in it because he can he can breathe. Yeah, and then he would just open the other side, and he was like, "Yay, I have my own house. I'm going to sink this into the ocean. It's going to be great." 
and now he's and then I get dead. To, it was and like I, his first apartment. It was like his first apartment. It was a really was, nice apartment. It was a studio, and it was really nice, and the rent was very reasonable. He was also really, really excited to murder all the people that came through. He had a family too, didn't he? Wait, no, back no, up to that no. last bit. Say that one more time. He was he was really excited because he knew that Yeldrin's family was going to come, so he was really excited about all the humans that he could eat and murder. I don't feel as bad about it now, guys. Just throwing that out there. I still feel mm-hmm. like judgmental much. Bad. I'm sorry. If someone's just main pastime is like, yes, I'm going to collect some pet rocks and some seashells and it's pretty. And by the way, just like eat as many people as I possibly but can. Like, well, well, okay. Don't feel quite as bad um, about so that. He worships a, a shark. I mean, come on. got to do what he got to yeah. do to eat. So He's got to get by. Sahawagans. One jump ahead. Uh, Sahawagans instinctually. Plural of Sahawagan abjectly, is Sahawagan. Really? It's like deer. The Sahawagan. Uh, uh instinctually hate all elves. What's so it, the fact that he gets to... A school. A school? No, 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 no. He was really school? excited a to... A Nash. Uh, it's a Nash a of Nash. Sahuagin. All right, all right. So he was really excited to not only, you know, steal this elf's house because fuck elves, but also eat this elf's family and, and all that stuff. Yeah, he was As like... As Jovi remembers this detail about Sahuagin, she's going to go ahead and cover her head and her ears <clears throat> with her scarf and cloak <laughs> feels appropriate. And there's right. another door at the end of the hallway. I'm going to say a few words about so Bulgeback and his shells. I search as good as this cleric is at searching. You have uh, you have at your disposal an assortment of extremely shiny rocks. Mm. Well, I love a shiny rock. Well curated uh, uh, clams, oysters, and other seashells. Okay, and, and that's it. That's it. Okay. Does he actually have them cataloged? Oh, he has them organized by size. Is there a little little display labeled diatoms that's just a petri dish that looks empty? Um, there, some of them are labeled with uh, Sahuagin script scratched into the. Uh, that the one's wood. that one's for you. Oh my Molly. god, he named them guys. We can't read it, but he fucking named them. If we had paid the extra god. copper, we could have gotten the like audio tour. <laughs> <laughs> And on that note, <laughs> this has been another episode of the Play Better Podcast, bringing you the best in the world of tabletop gaming and teaching you how to play it better. Playbettercast at gmail.com, playbettercast at gmail.com, at playbettercast on the Twitters. We're also on Instagram. I don't, I don't know how you say that yet. I'm, not, I'm still not hip to the Instagram. It's been We're e- like Play years, Better but... Podcast, at Play Better Podcast on Instagram. It's like, twi- it's like Twitter. Yeah. Oh, all right. Mm-hmm. Well, then why, why do it separately if it's just like Twitter? On Twitter and Instagram. Anyway, tell someone you know and love about us and how awesome we are. And please go and give us a review somewhere. Um, even if it's just like somebody, uh, some totally unrelated Yelp review um, <laughs> for like, I don't know, uh, a halal place. Uh, just, just Have you heard? <laughs> oh my God, they the opened a halal guys like spitting distance from my house. I mean, I've gotten pretty fat in the last year, but, like, that is nothing compared to the level of fat that I'm going to get in the next year. Halal's great, but you know what's better? The Play Better Podcast. Oh! There you go. There you go. Two stars. Get that on a shirt. So join us next time when the Ratbaggers will probably have to deal with that viscera shit because that's just the way this goes. Uh, We can't do things intelligently around here. I think we can artfully avoid that viscera shit. I'm Cameron McNary. I'm Ryan Skeen. I'm a goddamn swalking killing monster. I'm Nerissa Hart. And I'm Liz Brink. Play well.